Hello, I'm Maria Whitaker, and I work in the Avalon team. The, uh, Avalon is a media system for discovery and access of audio and video content. And we just released about three weeks ago our first IIIF version of Avalon. I mean, it uses IIIF specs for AV and for authorization. Um, so the Timeliner is the tool that Avalon has integrated that uh, uses IIIF uh, Prezi 3 version. So a little bit of history. The Timeliner was a tool that we had in a desktop uh, application variations. Avalon it became a replacement for variations, but it didn't have all the tools that variations had. But um, so the Timeliner is an audio annotation tool, and it's used for analysis of audio content. Professors at the School of Music at IU use them use the tool extensively to. Um, teach, pass on to the students their analysis of audio pieces and uh, using a bubble diagram. And the bubble diagram is called a timeline. Each bubble is a segment of uh, the music and serves as visual cues. So that's more or less where we come from. The Avalon Timeliner was a rewrite of that. We did that actually in collaboration with uh, with Gigirati. It is a IIIF client and it conforms to Prezi 3 and it implements version 1 of authorization using a content resource probe is one of the suggestions it's not approved yet of how to deal with um, authorization for AV. As I said it's currently available in Avalon 6.5 and we will make it available as a standalone tool. We just haven't had the time to do it yet. We just released it integrated. So the next step is to make it available as a standalone tool. Um, sorry. I will try to do a live demo. But I also have a recorded one in case this doesn't work. So. This is uh, Indiana University Media Collections Online. It is uh, um, powered by Avalon, and that's where our AV content is hosted. And I have here some timelines already created. Uh, so uh, I'll show you the ones created by professionals who understand more about music than myself. So this is taking us to the timeline tool, the new version. And I wish it didn't take that long. Well, if it doesn't come, I'll just go with the video. So let me go with the video here. Um, is it playing? I'm not sure it's playing, but um, so, um, this is one item in Avalon in our collection, and as you can see, the track number six is highlighted there, and yes, it is playing. So, it means that the playhead is on track number six. I can create timeline by clicking on the button, and I get a context. I can do it for the whole piece or just that item, or I can also choose a custom time frame. And, um, and then I can go ahead and click the button Create Timeline. For this presentation, I actually clicked Close to go ahead and use one that is already there playing. So I'm going to Timelines here, and I'm going to take the only one I had created at that time. And that's not professional, that's done by me, who don't have any music background, but these are bubbles. And so you can see that uh, I tried to do the segments that are similar in this piece to have the same color, same annotation. You can see the annotation panel on the left side in the bottom. Uh, and I will be showing next how to create a new bubble on 
there. So you put the cursor, uh, the playhead where you want and click the plus button, it creates a bubble. You can group bubbles. And uh, you can also then add your annotation and save. Um, you can also delete bubbles that you have created. So there, there it goes, deleted. And I'm uh, going back to my original timeline by undoing my changes. There is a marker there. Marker is a different type of annotation. Um, where you can say this, there is a violin starting here, or there is something here that you want to um, bring about. Uh, you can move the cursor there by using the arrow, so you can move to these special annotations. The settings gives us a, a lot of options in terms of uh, color schemes. One can also change from bubbles to squares doesn't look very nice, and on the ears of uh, timeliners, there is only one user who preferred squares, so we're going back to bubbles. And <laughs> so um, when you're ready, you can save, and you're done, and then you're back to Avalon here. And so I'm going to my next slide now. The range, the, bat, the bubbles are ranges in the Prezi 3 uh, for navigation. And so you can see, I don't know if I can show you, but main theme, it was one of the big bubbles. Um, and the markers, we are, which are time points in the timeline, they're actually annotations in the Prezi 3 manifest. And... This is actually um, it for my presentation. Uh, if you have questions, or um, you can write me an email, or go to Avalon and try to use it. Thank you. Thank you, Maria.